12 months ago, it was almost inconceivable that war could return to our continent. Today, it is just as unbelievable to think that Russia's illegal war has reached its one-year mark and shows no signs of abating. The Russian invasion of Ukraine has changed everything for all of us. It has shattered the lives of millions of Ukrainian people. It has meant that everything that we have been defending and promoting around the world about our way of life and our European values is at risk. Because this war is not just one against Ukraine, but one against the value-based system we have worked so hard to establish. I am proud of how Europe has responded in the past year and led by example, both in terms of aid to Ukraine and in holding the Kremlin to account. From the very beginning, the European Parliament called for harsh sanctions against Putin and his enablers and spearheaded the historic decision to grant EU candidate status to Ukraine. The Ukrainian people deserve hope and a clear perspective for the European path. I am also proud of the global alliance that we have built. The rules-based world order remains strong. Putin miscalculated not only the courage and resistance of Ukraine, but the strength of the democratic order. He fundamentally mistook our debates for weakness and he has already started to pay the price. But the reality is that the war in Ukraine remains ongoing and Ukraine still needs more support. We absolutely cannot allow war fatigue to set in. That is what the Kremlin is hoping for. It wants to exhaust our systems and our patience. The European Parliament will continue to stand with Ukraine whether that is with more aid, sustained support in the EU candidature process, increased sanctions against Russia, or through putting all our political weight behind making sure that all those responsible for war crimes are held accountable. Our solidarity will not waver, not until Ukraine wins and peace is restored. And when we speak about peace, we need to be clear, there can never be peace without freedom, dignity and justice.